Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a foundation review today. So I follow Trend Mood on Instagram and they post a lot of like sneak peeks and new products that are coming to the market. One of their posts was about the new CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. And as soon as I saw it, I went to Amazon and bought it right away. I actually got two shades. They don't have a large selection of ranges to choose from, but because this is a skincare makeup hybrid, it's kind of meant to cover a larger range of skin tones as opposed to something that is like super full coverage. So as you can tell in the bottle, it has like these little beads in it and those beads are actually the foundation, I guess you can say, floating in skincare essence. That's the best way that I can describe it because when I was looking at pictures, I wasn't really sure what I was looking at. Like what are these balls? Are they like, do they pop? They don't. These are actually like little balls of foundation. Think of it as like taking your foundation and putting a drop of a essence serum or oil over it and you'll see it kind of become something like this. That's the best way that I can describe it and the reason why I was really intrigued by it is because what I have been doing lately, I suffer from dry skin. So what I have been doing is using my Restore Youth Serum which is actually like a serum oil blend and I would dab a little bit of this all over my face to help my dry patches kind of disappear. In the winter time, my skin just really suffers. Let me just read some of the benefits off of their website. It says it's a skincare makeup hybrid formulated with tranexamic, why, why do I feel like I'm saying that wrong? Tranexamic acid. And it has lightweight gel texture, contains 71% water, and it has a skin-like finish. And I did already try it as soon as I got it, and I agree with all of those statements. It has an insanely skin-like finish, and it is just super interesting. So let's go ahead and try it. I have mine in light, and I also got it in light medium. And I'm actually going to use the light medium. I'm using a bright light right now, so it looks like everything is super washed out and really, really light. But I do have, like, my body has a little bit of self-tan, so I feel like this right now works just really well for my skin tone. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to place a pump on the back of my palm, and you can see it's very serum-y. It's literally like an essence with little drops of foundation in it. Very watery. It's literally like skincare with makeup foundation in it. And it takes a little bit of time to blend in. And once you start blending it in, you'll see that everything mixes together beautifully. It seems very watery and almost like nothing is going to happen. But I promise you, once it's blended into the skin, it will give you nice light to medium coverage in my opinion. And it's not going to be as glowy and oily. It's going to be more like a skin-like finish once it actually dries down. But it does take a little bit of time to kind of, you know, blend into the skin. Here's what it looks like on the back of my hand. Now let's apply it to the face. The first time that I used it, I actually just used my fingers because I thought of it as a skincare product and I felt like that would work best. But today I'm gonna try a brush and see what happens. Yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna use my fingers because I feel like the brush literally just soaked everything up. Once you start blending it in, you start to feel it once the two components kind of start to mix together because at first it almost feels like, okay, this is just, I'm literally applying like gel water to my skin. But once you start blending it, I promise you, it starts to feel and look like a very light serum -y foundation. So honestly, I would probably use my fingers to apply this. I feel like that's just the best way to get the best coverage because there's so much liquid in here that I feel like a sponge or a brush would just soak it all up. You can later on go with like a sponge and kind of bounce it over your face to kind of like melt everything into your skin. So I'm going to let that settle into the skin a little bit. And while it does that, I kind of wanted to talk about what it is that I look for in foundations and what to expect from this foundation. So if you're somebody that is looking for a full face, like full coverage, this is definitely not that kind of product. This is a very light, like again, it's skincare and makeup in one and it's not like a CC cream. This is very, I personally have never tried anything like this but a lot of the comments on the trend mood post did say it kind of reminds them of the Chanel one and for a drugstore product this is more on the pricier side. It's $21. Retails for $21 or like around there. So it is a little bit on the pricier side but I would say it's so worth it. I'm someone that has really dry skin in the winter time especially. I have a lot of dry patches. I try to do what I can with my skincare and like self care for my skin and things like that but there are still a few spots where I deal with like dry patches so this is why I would go in 
with something like this I would just place a little bit a drop or two on my palm or on my hand right here and then bounce my beauty blender over it and then just kind of go over the problem with that is you have to be very careful because if your foundation doesn't mix like if you're mixing water with oil then you're just going to separate your foundation even more so it's very tricky the best way to get rid of cake face is to find a primer a foundation a concealer and makeup products that all kind of have the same base and i feel like they just did a really good job with it they were able to find skincare and foundation that works well together and doesn't separate and it literally gives you it's not like super sticky glowy dewy it's not that kind of makeup product it is very skin like and you get a natural actual healthy glow i think this would work really 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 great if you have mature skin if you have fine lines that you are dealing with if you have dry skin dry patches i think this product is best for those kind of skin types or people with those kinds of concerns and to achieve a full face i just go in with concealer powders bronzers things like that but this as a base i think is honestly absolutely incredible and 100 worth trying so everything that i described if that's something that you're looking for highly highly recommend it because it truly blew me away there were like a few spots where i had insane dryness that by the end of the day there was like a little bit of dryness but overall i feel like this was just amazing again it's not full coverage but if you wanted to you could use concealer which is what i'm gonna do because as you can tell i do have like breakouts that i'm dealing with and obviously you can still see them you can see some blueness in the inner corner it's not perfect but do you see how my skin looks really it looks like skin this product will leave your skin looking like skin and the best part is it has skincare if you infused into it their formulation of this i think is probably the best i've seen yet for being a drugstore product especially just amazing let me actually look up the chanel one so the chanel one is called le base i don't really know if i'm pronouncing that correctly and it's their water fresh complexion touch and it also looks exactly like this like it has little balls of foundation and it just seems like such a similar product and their description is a first of its kind versatile makeup product infused with ultra concentrated micro droplet pigments theirs says it's medium coverage i would say that this is like light medium coverage it says it's composed of 60 percent water this one is 71 lightweight gel texture both of them have a lightweight gel texture it sounds like it would be similar so let me compare the ingredients so the ingredients are different they're not like spot on but they look like they would be a very very similar product if you've tried the chanel one and you end up trying this one let me know in the comments because the chanel one is Seventy dollars. This one is twenty-one. A beautiful twenty-one. So I would say it's worth it, and it's gorgeous on the skin, you guys. Gorgeous. This might just be my go-to. To achieve more com coverage, I'm just gonna use some concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Serum concealers are amazing if you have dry skin, and this NYX one is really nice because it doesn't take away from that glow, but it still covers just enough i use a brush to blend out concealer because i feel like a brush gives me more coverage versus a sponge but do you see how that concealer just helped to conceal that little bit of blueness and i just use a little bit in the inner corner and i feel like this really helps to create more of a full face look and for the rest of the face i'm going to use cream products i'm going to use the merit blush this one is in shade beverly hills and the loved and beloved elf halo glow contour wand and i have mine in shade light medium I feel like this truly is such a great product so these are essentially all drugstore products other than the blush i don't really have a drugstore blush look at this gorgeous gorgeous shade a little bit of blush All these products have a gorgeous skin-like finish. And lately, I haven't been setting my face, especially in the winter time. My skin usually doesn't move. This way, I'm able to keep that really natural skin-like finish. Once I set it, I feel like that's when my dry patches are accentuated. But I do have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And with like a large fluffy brush like this, just kind of go over a little bit to slightly set everything. But still being able to keep that glow. I didn't do my eyebrows or my lips. Let's do that real quick. We're gonna go Christmasy today because it's still Christmas, y'all. 
So we're gonna go a little bit Christmassy. I have this Urban Decay 24-7 lip pencil. It's in the shade Bad Blood. I mentioned this in a few vlogmases. And then my favorite, favorite Maybelline ink crayon pencils. I have a few of these. This one is in only Own Your Empire. I got it for like the Christmas time. They don't last super long. They're not like a they're not a liquid lipstick. But if you're getting one of the more natural nude shades, I think the formula for these is so good. One of my favorites is Trust Your Gut. No, this one's Talk the Talk. Trust Your Gut is another good one. But this one's Talk the Talk. And it is such a beautiful nude pink. And then I'm just going to leave my eyebrows the way it is. But I hope you guys found this review helpful. I genuinely honestly think this is an amazing foundation product. I don't even know if you could call this a foundation. But great job CoverGirl. I think they did an amazing job. I got mine on Amazon so I'll leave my link down below. I really appreciate those of you that do shop through my links. It really helps me out. So thank you so much. I'm sure you can find it on other websites as well. Give it a try. Let me know if you guys do try it in the comments down below. And how you like it. What you guys think of it. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.